Okay, so a lot of people have this keybind. Uh, I have one on my C key, just ant fire exclamation point picker use. It's called long range use, and it's useful for grabbing objects from across the map or pressing buttons from across the map. It's just a nice little uh, cheat keybind for solving puzzles. I thought it would be funny. What happens if I use the use keybind on one object and then look at another object and use the keybind again? So let's do that. So it looks like you're holding two objects at once, but really one of them kind of detaches. And it starts to do this really weird thing. It's not solid to the player, but it's solid to physics. It's, I think it's kind of like in this state, permanently, where it, you can see it's behind me. It's not solid to me, but I'll still be able to bump stuff with it. Anyway, so I, you know, I can... It's a little bit springy, almost. And you can't pick it up. I mean, it will display the pickup animation, but you can't actually bring it anywhere. If you spam the long range keybind on it, eventually your portal gun will just do that, and then you won't be able to shoot portals for a couple seconds until it figures out what's happening. By far the most interesting aspect of this, though, is if you pick it up and then you bonk another object into it. Now it's freed, right? I'll be able to pick it up and bring it wherever I want. Nope. If you release it with E, it just magnets back to this, <laughs> to this location. I don't think there's a way to change this location. Um, but the more fun part, though, is if you hit long range use when this is happening, because uh, the picker is the object under the crosshairs and this object is under the crosshairs. And if at that location there's a box like that, it'll bounce. And you can still press buttons with this weird ghost. And I think it can even press buttons while it's moving. And you can fizzle it, and it behaves like a normal cube. I mean, now <laughs> the game engine is back to normal, I guess. And that's the long range use glitch, and if anybody uses that in a puzzle, I'll be very mad. 